I told her goodbye, had to float off. I can't take no L, can't take no loss. She get cut off, told her so long. So long, told her so long. Yo, what is up, guys? In this video, I'll be showing you how you can edit like Appy into features of. So, uh, Appy has like this really cool style where he has like a lot of temporal blurs, uh, his velocity is really good, and his impact's really good. So, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. So, I already have my clip lined up with the song uh, So Long by uh, Killval. It's from like a year ago, but it's actually hitting the algorithm again uh, in 2021. I don't know how, it just is. So, uh, for the velocity, what you're gonna wanna do is unlink the clips. And uh, go into read time controls like that at a speed point on the marker or on the kill, and uh, go to where the like the frame where the gun is pulled out. So right here, so you can see one frame the gun isn't there, the next frame it is. So the frame where the gun gets pulled out at another speed point, and then go to like the middle of the two and add another speed point. Change the first speed to 50 and the second speed to 400. And uh, here what you're going to want to do is, I'm actually not going to keep the speed to 50, I'm actually going to put it to 40. So how you do that is, right here on the speed point, uh, you should see at the top, it's like a triangle or a pentagon, like right here on the middle speed point, uh, right here where I'm selecting. And what you're going to want to do is make sure to select that and just drag it out. And right here, as you can see, the more you drag to the left, the faster the speed gets, the more you drag it to the right slower the speed gets so i'm gonna make sure it's at around like 38 that should be good and uh now what i'm gonna want to do is uh, drag this back so now my speed is 38 but still my velocity is uh, overlapping a bit and now what you're gonna want to do is click on the video and uh go into retime and scaling and make it optical flow it's just on the right hand side so i make it optical flow and it should look nice and as you can see it's a hard slow-mo before the kill speeds up a bit and then the kill is there then now make this uh change the kill speed to 50 and here how you want to change the speed is just trim this down a bit and go to the top right here like this little rectangle on the top uh, where it says like the title of the clip and just stretch it out like that and you should see like this little marker or this cursor that looks like two arrow keys and I'm gonna make it 38 and I'm just gonna trim it down more so I'm gonna make sure it trims down to around right there that should be good and it should look like this and the velocity isn't quite good yet so what you're gonna want to do is go on the 400 go on the marker and on the in this speed point right here the speed point on the marker go maybe one frame in front and drag that speed point like to it right there so it should look like this And it does look pretty good in my opinion. And uh, let me just look at it uh, like from the beginning. So yeah, in my opinion, it does look really good. And uh, now what you're gonna wanna do is add a build up. So uh, go into the effects tab right here on the left hand side and drag in an adjustment clip. And from here, what you're gonna wanna do is go on the marker and go 60 frames back which is shift and left arrow key so do that and then go 30 frames back so uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so as you guys see i am about 90 frames uh before the kill and i'm actually right here gonna add uh drag out my adjustment clip so it lines up there and trim it on the marker so like that as you can see we do have a very nice adjustment clip over top of the of the clip so now go into the fusion tab on the adjustment clip and go into my into your file explorer and uh, where you, wherever you downloaded the presets just go in there so right here appy and appy temporal blur and uh, as you can see, you will need the Sapphire plugins for this tutorial. And maybe if you don't want to just use the Sapphire plugins, uh, delete s underscore hubesat bright and put in like this sun right here uh, and drag it in, connect it, and make the saturation zero. It's basically the same thing. I just wanted a Sapphire plugin. And now go back into into the or into the edit tab 
and fade in the adjustment clip just like that. So make sure it just ends like around the middle of the clip. And yeah, right there should be good. And yeah, now you guys do have a uh, temporal blur. And uh, what you're gonna wanna do is uh, right click on the adjustment clip and click render cache color output. And basically it should just render in place. And uh, yeah, it will be laggy, but uh, it will take like a minute or so to just render everything. As you can see, it will be turning blue at the top over the orange. And now that we do have the temporal blur, what you're gonna wanna do is drag uh, another adjustment clip and put it on the marker right here and go 40 frames back so that would be click shift and arrow key again left arrow key and go do that and then go 20 frames in front 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and now that you're 20 fr or 40 frames behind the kill what you're going to want to do is get your adjustment clip uh, the second one that you've added and drag it back and trim it to where the clip is so just like so as you can see we have like this little portion right here and it's basically half of what the of what the big adjustment clip is so basically you might just see it as uh, make it half of what the big adjustment clip is so now what you're going to want to do is go into the fusion tab of the second adjustment clip and uh, go into your file explorer and put in the vhs.setting uh, this is just the uni vhs really nice in my opinion now that i've connected it i want to go back into the edit tab and fade in the adjustment clip just so it's around halfway so right there should be good it does look nice it will be laggy uh you also will need the universe plugins for this i forgot to mention but uh yeah make sure you go go pick those up and stuff like that and now that you do have uh the adjustment clips added uh, what you're going to want to do now is go into your file explorer again. This time stay on the edit tab and get the light streaks underscore 4 MOV. And just drag it over top of uh, just the temporal blur and the uni VHS. Just over that. So not over the whole video. Just over that. And click on the light streaks and go into uh, composite and composite mode right here. Make it add. Or, yeah, add right here and change the opacity to around like 17 that should be good and now fade it in like that so it should be like a similar fade to the temporal blur and it would look super nice it just adds like more color to the temporal blur and it, in my opinion it's super clean this part is optional so you guys it, it makes it look better but i wouldn't say that you have to do it to make it look nice and uh, we're almost done here for appy what you're going to want to do now is uh, drag the third adjustment clip and this time put it on the right hand side of the marker uh, just over top of the kill and trim it to where the clip ends and now what you're going to want to do is go into the fusion tab and uh, get the appy impact for this one you guys i uh, will give you two options appy impact or appy glow impact i just will use the appy impact impact which is a shake and a flicker uh, right here i'm gonna drag in actually the appy glow impact <laughs> It comes with three nodes, a shake, a flicker, and a glow. And I'm just going to show you guys what this looks like. So it basically just looks like this. So there's just a glow implemented onto it. Nothing too strong, uh, nothing too complicated, but it just looks, makes it look nice. But I'm actually just going to use the normal impact for the sake of this video. So I'm just going to delete this and use the normal impact. And uh, yeah, we're almost done here. <laughs> I keep on saying that, but we're actually almost done here. Now for the color correction. What you're going to want to do is drag this middle line right here just down and add an adjustment clip over top of everything and put it even above the light streak. So basically when I say everything, I mean everything. So just above everything in the timeline, uh, drag in looks. And now what you're going to want to do once you've dragged in the looks is go into effects right here and click edit look. And uh, right here, uh, we're just going to do something simple, uh, similar to Appy. So uh, get hue slash saturation and get uh, curves and get uh, pop. So uh, curves, make it just a bit higher. I'd say maybe like that and make the hue slash saturation like 131 and pop. This is just if you want, this is like optional. I'm gonna make it plus 
30. You will need the Magic Vault Lux plugins for this, by the way. I did forget to mention that, so you will need those. And now, uh, it should look nice, just like Appy, my opinion. And uh, yeah, we're done with the tutorial. So if you guys did enjoy uh, this quick tutorial, uh, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.